for the serious gamer. Hey, it's Spiderby NextGenTactics.com. This is Halo Reach uh, campaign mission number eight, New Alexandria, part one of four. This is on legendary difficult, and this is uncut. And I sort of want to do this as a uh, a test, or I don't think I'm going to show this ever, like, or propose that I show this every time for every game on the hardest difficulty. But I thought I would run through it here uncut just to show you what the hell I go through. And this is actually probably one of the more, uh, the easier missions. So it's not even going to be that bad. I think there's only one major spot that I get hung up on. Um, but it's definitely, it's nearly what, no, it's about 50% longer than the normal difficulty uh, videos that I put up recently. So anyways, uh, this is what's remaining of New Alexandria. It's uh, pretty bad shape. Covenant's been hitting the frickin' city pretty hard, uh, from what it looks like to me anyway. Crazy, crazy stuff. Your report will have to wait, Lieutenant. The Covenant are jamming all comms to command. Cat needs your help running a counter-op. It's good to have you back. Sorry I came alone. Make him proud. you damn right I'll make Jorge proud. I'm gonna make Jorge proud. Yes, Jorge. Jorge! Put your wings back on, Lieutenant. We're flying this Falcon. Alright, some Millennium Falcon! Yeah! Covenant or not. have deployed comm jammers in high rises across the city. When I find them, you hit them hard. Alright, sounds good. I'll hit them hard. Stand by, Six. One of our trooper squads went silent after the hospital got hit. I'll mark the location. Complete their mission and take out the jammer. Alright, sounds good. So. What I'm going to find here, like I actually start up pretty high, but uh, what we're going to find here is when you're um, flying around the city, is you want to stay low. Stay very low. In and around the buildings, use buildings for cover. Otherwise you're going to get freaking hammered. Trust me, you will get hammered. So we're actually uh, just trying to, I don't know, finish off that banshee I guess, but let's go over to the hospital. And uh, hit the first jammer. And hopefully we don't get uh, any banshees come up on us. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get down here. No resistance so far. Oh, oh, no, no! Come on! I'm trying to land here. Jeez, man. Leave me alone. Alright, so we're going to hop out. And see what we see. And uh, yes, I, you know, <laughs> it only took me ten missions to figure out the thing with the uh, engineers. By the way, just so you know, that's why I'm not shooting at the engineer right now. Um, but in case you don't know, the engineers give the units over shields, so that's why the grunts had shields on them because of that engineer. It's in the middle, it's sort of hanging there in the middle of the room. So, it probably would have made my life a hell of a lot easier on this level had I taken out that engineer. Maybe I do. I don't know. Who knows? I don't I don't think I do, but um yeah, it would it would have look at now he's going down. Um it, it would have made my life a hell of a lot easier, I think. No, not I think. It definitely would have. Anyways, so we're going to finish off these guys. We got a few jackals up here. We got um, these grunts. Come on, buddy. And um yeah, Contact so I end up and 10 I'll hold them off so you can get to the other side. Through that doorway. Move, move, move. So I end up wasting some DMR ammo as a result. That's pro again, that's probably why I run into a bit of trouble down below. Yeah, how do you like them needles? Oh, I'm out. Yeah, good uh, 
Melee always works. Alright, we're gonna grab the plasma pistol and we're gonna carry on down here. I think there's still uh, another jackal around here. Or two, possibly. Yeah, it looks like two. Damn, I totally missed that guy. No! Oh, you guys suck! Alright. So we did get a checkpoint. Contact! So we... 2 and 10 o'clock! I'll hold them off so you can get to the other side! Through that doorway! Move! 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 We didn't lose uh, too much ground here. And uh, the nice thing about this game is that there are a lot of checkpoints, which comes in very handy um, <laughs> for her legendary. Um, and there's actually a few spots. Probably a mission 10 is, pr is the biggest part um, where the checkpoints, you know, sometimes the checkpoints don't come that frequently. And then you end up going a fair distance or killing a... F uh, uh, a lot of enemies and then you don't get a checkpoint it's like oh man I gotta start right back at the beginning I think the beginning of mission 10 is like that where there's just a crap load of uh, covenant units and uh, and um, you end up not getting a, a very good check or a checkpoint until a lot later on So yeah, definitely, definitely difficult without that stupid engineer. I mean, that's the key. Probably, I probably could have saved myself so much ammo and so much time by taking out that engineer. But like I said, I mean, you know, I didn't know that. You know, until somebody told me, I didn't know that that thing, that engineer thing gave them shields. You know what I mean? There's no... There's no real indication. I guess you can say. Let's put two and two together. Which I obviously didn't. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get a bit closer to these guys. Especially considering we don't have our uh, DMR run of ammo. Yeah, there we go. How do you like that? Uh, no more shields! Haha! -ha. Oh! Damn, those shields regenerate pretty quick. The thing's making an awful lot of noise, too. Alright, there, we got some uh, DMR ammo back. And what do we got here? Oh man, see? Shields! Look at the thing's right there. Shoot it, spider! Oh man. I know, I'm an idiot. What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, like I said, unless you've played these games before, it's freaking hard. It's hard to tell. And, you know, a lot of games, a lot of new games, like, um, you know, even sequels to games. Um, you know, Call of Duty isn't like that just because there aren't any real uh, difficult enemies, you know what I mean? Like, you don't... It's not futuristic or anything, but... Uh, so you don't, don't really need it, but... When you play Killzone 2... Um, way back when, and I end up... This is when I end up taking out the engineer, it looks like. Maybe not. I'm all out of ammo. <laughs> uh, yeah, Killzone 2. Like, if you come up against a difficult enemy, and you're with, uh, you know, a squad mate or whatever, let's say we're with... Jorge, for instance, as an example, uh, it will actually tell you, okay, finally I take the engineer out, it will actually tell you or give you a little bit of a hint as to what's going on. So if you're up against a really difficult enemy, you know, like a hunter, for example, um, it'll sort of give you a hint, say, yeah, he's, you know, he's vulnerable on the rear, on the lower rear or whatever. Or, you know, if the engineer's there, the engineer's giving him over shields, take them out. You know, that sort of thing. I think they could have done that here. Just, you know, not necessarily obviously for the hardcore or Halo players who have played this before and know all the units, know all the weapons, but Move for players loose. that are Stay back, more... You stinking bastards. <laughs> Stay back, you stinking bastards. Uh, you know, more so for, for people that aren't less familiar with the game or who have never played a Halo game. 
I mean, it's not unreasonable to think that you're going to get some new players on this game. And it's a very good game. Like, I, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I didn't pass it up, despite what some people have said. You know, I should stay with Call of Duty, because this is my Halo game. You can't come in here and play my game. Man, I want to freaking... This game's awesome, man. Why would you not want me to play it? It's because you haven't played Halo 1, 2, or 3. No, you shouldn't play this game. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so we got some uh, brutes up here. Where the hell are they? But I have my favorite weapon. Yeah. See, you know, I probably would have still had my DMR if I hadn't waste, wasted all that ammo uh, with the engineer. Not taking out the engineer. Oh! -ho! And again, just so you guys know, this is where you can get the achievement for uh, Spoonful of Blamite. You get 10 kills, 10, 10 Super Combine Explosion kills, which is uh, when the units explode after pumping them uh, full of needles from a needle rifle or the needler. Alright, I was just looking for a different weapon there. Um, so I got an assault rifle, I got a needler, and we're going to move up and see what's up. I do believe there's another engineer at the end of this uh, room. And unfortunately I don't take him out until like, I think near the end. But trust me, by mission 10, I do I said, back clue off, in. You nasty son of a bitch. <laughs> I do clue in to the, uh, or I didn't, it's not even a clue in thing, it's like somebody telling me. <laughs> so I do end up taking them out a lot sooner. Alright, what the hell have we got down here? We got nothing long range. Uh, laser gun. Oh, that's not laser gun. That's laser gun. Yeah, see, very, very difficult to take these guys down with their overshields. Obviously. Alright, maybe we gotta move up here. Probably move up to this next uh, shield. There we go. Dodge side to side here. Oh, you want to throw that at me, huh? No. How, here, here's one back at you, sucker. Damn. Come on. Oh, don't stick me with that. Man, that's the worst when they... It's not so bad when they throw it at you and you can avoid it, but when they stick you with it? That sucks. Alright, we're looking for another weapon here. So I'm not sure if there's anything else up there. I think it's just the engineer. Alright, there we go. Got some DMR ammo. And I think that's pretty much it. All right, we took out the engineer. Okay, let's go and uh, destroy the jammer. Thanks for the assist, Spartan. No problem. Jammer's right over here. Yeah, I'm just checking the area, you know. Seeing what else is here. All right, let's activate it. We get some health on the side there. We got uh, oh, jetpacks. Yeah, I don't want a jetpack. Alright, let's activate this thing. Or deactivate or blow it up, whatever. Apparently it comes with equip equipped with a self-destruct button. Hello, to Noble 6. I'm showing the hospital jammer offline. Nice work. As soon as you can, I need you back in your Falcon. Noble 2 to Noble 6, you've got incoming tangos. We've got jumpers! Yeah, they're jumpers alright. They're big pain in the ass. Um, so... I was hoping that I could probably just run by them, but uh, no, I couldn't do that. And the problem with these guys is um, it's hard to track the one that you're firing at. 
Uh, because if you get too close, then uh, they're going to take you out. And if you're back here, uh, it's just, you know, they're going to cover and there's, there's a few of them. So, you know, they switch spots with their partner and then you don't... Damn, we're trying to track that guy and freaking... Come on. Ah! Damn it! I'm just firing just because. But that's the problem. Now I don't have any anything along range. And I'm looking for another way out of here. But I pretty much have to go back that way. Which is too bad. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these guys. But this isn't even the part where I get really stuck. It's up a little further. And you'll see why. And I get stuck there for a fair bit. So we're going to try and take these guys out short range. But they're all over the place. You know, and even though, like, a lot of times when my shields are down, like, I'll still stick my head out and fire at them. It's just because I'm trying to finish off some of these guys. Like, if I've, you know, dropped their shields, I, I kind of want to try and finish them off. Because if I wait for my shields to regenerate, then he's going to as well. Um, so I really don't no, want that to happen. So anyways, we got killed there. I was trying to run up a little bit. So we did get a checkpoint sort of midway through that battle, which is good. Let's see what other weapons we've got here. Yeah, I don't really like this thing, the plasma rifle. So we pick up that grenade. Actually, that that frag spawned there a couple of times, but then it stopped spawning. So <laughs> don't don't uh, assume that it'll keep respawning. So you can get like unlimited frags because you can't. I really like the plasma pistol better than this thing. So we just uh, basically used up all our frags. Probably would have been better to save it for the next area, but... Oh, damn, the shield's down. And so are mine. Alright, what the hell else do we have back here? Come on, we gotta have something. There's some health. Shotgun. I'll try it. Nothing else back here. Let's grab the jetpack. Oh, come on. There's got to be another way out of here. Nope. <laughs> the impenetrable glass. So yeah, normal difficulty, there was actually uh, two of these guys left that we ran by. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. I thought, hey, let's jetpack over these guys and see what happens. Maybe they won't shoot me. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. Alright, what are we going to do now? we got to get in close to these guys. Come on! Let me out there, let me out there. I just want to get back to my Millennium Falcon. Oh, look, we found some DMR ammo. Cool. Man, these guys just jump around everywhere. Come on, let's get some headshots. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Just stay still, stay still. Yeah! How you like that? Let's get this guy. Come on, stay still. Oh, That's sweet. Come on, we got this guy. Come on, will you freaking stay still? Oh, come on, no, no! Yes! Alright, I think we have one more. Where is he? There he is. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 
Okay, what else we got here? Oh crap! Was there like two more or what? No! I thought that was the last guy! Apparently I was wrong. There's that frag again. Hey, the, um, the health pack is there too, but I think actually I spawned. Or actually, possibly I spawned uh, because I died. I spawned before I got the health pack and the, uh, the frag. Alright, let's see if we can get up close and personal with these guys. Uh, come on, where are they? Where are they? Oh, I see you. I see you. Come on, spider. Damn. There's like two of them still. I don't know where the hell I'm going. What are you doing, spider? What are you doing? Oh. Maybe I was going to see if there was that frag. Or get the health that I forgot to get. But yeah, that frag's not there anymore. Maybe it didn't respawn. Maybe it was just because I died and gone back. That I was thinking it kept respawning. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing it. Sorry, it's early in the morning. I haven't had my first full cup of coffee yet. I'm just working on that right now. Come on! Stand still for crying out loud. There we go. There's one. Let's get this other guy. Oh no! Come on, come on. So, you know, I waited for my shields to sort of start regenerating and his shields probably did as well. Man, there's still two of them? Jesus. I hate this weapon, man. It sucks. Come on, come on. There we go. Shields down, shields down. Is he dead? Tell me he's dead. Tell me he's dead. Come on. Oh, keep the pressure on. Pressure! Ah, oh, come on! All right. Anyways, we will continue this uh, in the next video. Actually, I didn't cut it there. I cut it in in a few seconds. What a freaking pain in the ass! Good. These guys are pissing me off. Anyways, I will exact my revenge in the next video. So stay tuned, and I will try to finish my coffee. All right? So I sound a little more lively. Damn, Covenant! For more strategies and tactics, visit nextgentactics.com. I'm Spiderbite, and I'm out.